what is going on guys, Dr. Duple Pack here, and today we're going to be talking about something real important, known as reverse boosting. Now if you guys do not know, reverse boosting is when you kill yourself multiple times in advanced warfare, and then you get placed into games with the lower levels than you. Now, there's a pretty big, uh, big, um, people out there that try to con try to make themselves believe that Alie the Great reverse boosts. Now, personally, I do not have an opinion on it, an opinion on it, because I am subscribed to him and I still watch his videos. Even if he does reverse boost, it's uh, still pretty sick. Like his gameplays are like it's on point. I, I can't describe it. it. It's just it's just on point. Like there's nothing else to describe. I just hit something. My bad. It, it, his gameplays are pretty good, but he might reverse boost. I don't know. He's pretty good. He, he's amazing. So we have a pros and cons of reverse boosting. Probably the first pro would be it is easier to play. Now, with that being said, let's say you are a person that is an average player like me that probably goes one game, maybe like 10 and 2 if you get the most luck. Maybe it's like you're winning like the lottery, but you're actually winning the lottery of getting 10 and 2 in a game. That's actually, yeah, so um, if, if, if that happens like once every like 10 games you play, then um, you probably want a reverse boost. I'm not saying you should, but and then the rest of the games you go like like 5 and 20. That kind of sucks. But that, that actually is what I do. I do not reverse boost personally. So if you go ahead and start asking in the comments to do reverse boost, I, I do not. You can even look by this game, but I do not reverse boost. So, so it makes it easier on you. Uh, second one. Now, this pretty much only like like goes for like youtubers i guess if you're pretty much recording videos for youtube it makes it way way much easier to reverse boost because you really do not need to show your kd in videos you don't need to go hey look guys here's my kd i have a 2.5 but if obviously if you reverse boost reverse boost you're gonna have like a 0 0.30 but if if you do make youtube videos it, it's great because there's just gonna be like a bunch of noobs this is pretty much like versing computers on recruit pretty much so it's going to be easier to make videos with because you're going to be able to have more gameplay. Like personally for me, if I would ever want to make an advanced warfare video again, besides these type of videos like I'm doing now, it will take me a while to get one that's good. Like when I like a while, like I, cause you actually need to get, see, you, you need to get one clip that's like on point and you, you do all right in it so you can post it and look hardcore. So it, it's really hard. Probably the last pro that I have is higher wins. Now, obviously, this is a it's pretty pretty self logical. Uh, you pretty much are gonna win more when you reverse boost. Cause let's say you're playing free for all and you just reverse boosted, then it's gonna be way much easier for you to win. All you have to do is probably just run around, maybe snipe some people in the head. They're gonna be like, oh, whoa, 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 I got shot in the face. Yes, I understand you got shot in the face, but you know from where. Now we have um, cons, which these are kind of pretty cheap, anyways. So, con, it lowers your KD. So, let's say you want to get into phase or something like that. You are never going to get into phase with your KD being like that. All right. I'm sorry. You're never going into it. If you want to make a new Xbox Live account, sure, why not? But if you reverse boost, I don't even, I don't even think you deserve to go into phase in the first place. Anyways, next, you look like trash. Hey, this is pretty much uh, logical. If you reverse boost and you're like a freaking like Prestige 11, and you're playing against people that are like level fives. Come on, man. Come on. It's like going to a bounce house and bouncing in a bounce house with five year olds when you're like 13. That actually made no sense. That was a really bad analogy. Let's say you're going paintball. Let's say you're going paintball and got, it, no, actually, yeah. You're versing against a bunch of five year olds and you think you're hardcore or you're playing dodgeball and anything along those lines, pretty much. That is, um,. Makes you pretty much look like trash. You're like, oh, I'm so OP. No, well, actually, you're just versing a bunch of eight-year-olds. So, um, makes you look like hashtag garbage. Now, what else do we have? We have a little bit of stuff over here. Um, pretty much, um, reverse boosting. Uh, like a lot of the times, it's done is because of the reasons I said, or, or it is because people get so frustrated of the tryhards that they're with that they just say, you know, I I'm done. I can't take it anymore. I, I die too many times during gameplays like it, it just sucks so they just go to reverse boosting and then they get on and are able to kill so many noobs it is it is outrageous now 
I actually do have this one story to tell you about it. I was reading, um, I was reading like some uh, article the other day about reverse boosting and if you should do it or not. So, one of the uh, one of the comments on there actually someone stated, "I'm a guy, right? I think he was like 20. Like, I'm, I'm someone. He, I'm 23. I have a job. I get home at 8 o'clock at night, and like when I get home, I, I want to play the game I like. I don't want to sit there and have to like start stretching to play the game so I won't die multiple times." So I'm tired, I just want to play the game that I spent my hard-earned money on. But I don't want to just keep dying multiple times, I, I actually want to play the game. So, he recommended to reverse boost, because ever since he started reverse boosting, pretty much can go home and play the game, pretty much play the game by himself. Personally, what I would do, if he's in that situation, I would probably just go play like go play on computers or something but you know if he wants to have the feel of actually reversing online and thinking he's hardcore parkour then go ahead I don't get reverse boost but it also if you think of it it is pretty much unfair to the noobs also cuz it, it's pretty much unfair maybe someone's in the clan phase or something or somewhere <laughs> along those lines or like optic and they and they're playing and um and they start reverse boosting then all the like let's say and then there's like 13 year olds there'd be like 13 year olds playing it but they just like got the game for like christmas or something or their birthday just came around and it was on like on 75 percent off or like 99 percent off at black friday so at those types types of times it kind of sucks because when someone else reverse boosts if you are a noob you pretty much get i don't know how to you, you pretty much uh, get screwed you get screwed over for that one so it's kind of like I wouldn't say a win-win, but it would be more like a loss-win because you still are um, pretty much hurting other players while they're trying to play and like not be noobs at the game. They're trying to practice, but they can't really practice when you're running inside and being like a little dick that you are and just start killing everybody. That kind of freaking sucks, a big chai. Anyways, I kind of want you to finish watching this gameplay. It's actually about to be over, so uh, hopefully, come on, come on, be finished, be finished. So to pretty much uh, wrap stuff up, if you want to reverse boost, uh, sure, go ahead. Personally, me, I am not recommending it if you want to be hardcore parkour. In my opinion, I'm never going to reverse boost because that's just my opinion.